Here I have a brand new Acer laptop. Take a look at the back of the computer. Identify the model is Acer Aspire Go 1.5. Model number is AG15-51P-510U. The manufacturer date is 2024. December 30th so it's fairly brand new laptop and I get a chance to um, have it with me today here and I'll take it apart to kind of identify what are the things that you can upgrade maybe the RAM maybe the hard drive maybe to change out the battery CPU fan things like that in this video I'm gonna talk about it all right I'm gonna jump right into it first thing first is to remove the screws here and remove the back cover. So I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. This happened to be the electronic screwdriver. Make my life easier. Let's go ahead and remove them. There are three screws on the top, three screws at the bottom, and four screws, sorry, three screws in the middle and four screws at the bottom. And all the screws are the same size. So if you mix match the screw, that's not a big deal. Next step is to go ahead and pry it open. I'll be opening up the back cover here. I like to start off with the bottom corner where the weakest point is. So I'll be sticking in the metal prying tool. Get my finger underneath there. The next thing is to use a plastic prying tool rather than the metal. Uh, I do not want to make any scratches on the laptop. This is still a brand new laptop here. Okay, remove the back cover. And let's identify the internal part of the internal part of the laptop. Here we can see that the battery there is um, uninvited end on my CPU fan. I just shoo it away. Now that is the CPU fan. There's only one heat sink to exhaust the heat out. That is your copper heat sink attached to the CPU. This metal bracket here is covering up your RAM. So to add more RAM, you need to remove the cover. That is the M.2 drive. It only comes with one slot, meaning that you cannot add additional M.2 drive here on the motherboard. You can only upgrade your M.2 drive. Let's go ahead and remove the M.2 by using a Phillips screwdriver. It seems to be a lot smaller. This screw right here is a lot tinier, so get a tiny little Phillips screwdriver, remove that, and slide out the M.2 drive. Now the computer comes with a 256 M.2. You can definitely upgrade to like two or four terabyte, however big you wish to have. Now let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. I'm gonna peel off the tape here to expose that little bracket. I just wanna make sure that this metal bracket here is not a clipper. Sometimes a battery connector is a clipper where you need to unclip before you can remove the connector. So this here is not a clipper. All we have to do is slide down the connector. Got a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the two screws, one on each side of the battery, and the entire battery will just come right off. Now, if a battery is swollen, like this battery here is flat, there's no lump on the battery, looks good to me. Now, over time, the battery do go bad, and if a battery is swollen, there's a lump to it, more likely, the battery is not holding the charge and it's time for a replacement. Where you find a replacement battery, it would be this AP23A 
AL that is the replacement model for the battery. Next, here is a CMOS battery. And here would be your RAM uh, cover. So we need to remove it. Do not use any metal to get in between the plastic cover, uh, the metal cover, because you're very close to the motherboard. Just get a plastic prying tube to pry it open. And at this point here, remove the cover. Now, to remove the RAM, push the two little side clipper, pop up the RAM and slide it off at 45 degree angle to your left to remove that RAM. This RAM here runs on a DDR5. As you can see that the RAM is a DDR5 RAM. It says PC5, DDR5, and this is an eight gigabytes RAM. You can upgrade it to 16 if you want. Eight on each side of the slot and make sure you have the gap here that little gap ram has to match the slot in order to slide in slide it in at 45 degree angle and push it down right in the middle and the two little side clipper would clip and lock the ram now let's take a look at the uh, cpu fan see if we can remove them disconnect some of the cable remove the motherboard and that would be the process in this video. I need to disconnect the Wi-Fi card. The white cable is on the top, the black is at the bottom. Get a tiny little Phillips screwdriver. Remove that and slide it to your left to remove the Wi-Fi card. That has to be with the Bluetooth as well. Open up the clipper slide out the keyboard, open up the clipper, slide out the trackpad. This connector here, slide it to your right. That is your CMOS and this is your speaker by sliding it down. Next part is to remove the CPU fan by removing two screws. That's one on the top and one at the bottom. Slider connected down, and you just remove the entire CPU fan. That is the replacement part here. You might want to buy, look for the EG560S1. That would be the uh, CPU fan model. Next, to remove the motherboard, very simple. Uh, we need to disconnect this flex cable here. Be ready to slide the motherboard out. They are held down by one screw, two screw, and remove disconnect the uh, LCD flex cable here open up the clipper slide that cable out and the entire motherboard should just come right off by lifting it up so that is your entire Acer motherboard. Okay, leave it on the side. Now here is your keyboard, the back end of the keyboard. If you notice, the keyboard has no screw. Everything is being punched down. So those little, what do you call that? Um, divots? I don't know. That, that thing right there, they are all being manufactured punched down to that. Um, the keyboard is not replaceable, so you would have to replace the entire bottom cover of it. So what you have to do is to remove the screws here, the hinge, okay? And then slide out the keyboard together with the trackpad and just change up entirely.
unfortunately, that's how Acer make the uh, the laptop nowadays. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the keyboard is not a replaceable part. You would have to change out entirely. If you find this video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for doing that. And um, have any question, comment down below. I will read your comment and answer any of the question that you have. Now I'm just going to install everything back and power up the laptop, finish up the setup and transfer the data over. So that would be my next step. Since I get a chance to uh, take a look at the, uh, the laptop here. So thanks for watching. Until next time, take care and bye now.